I am Anil Kumar. We are learning the technique of calculating the value of inverse of cotangent function. So the question here is calculate cot inverse of minus half. Now we will approximate this to two decimal places, right? So we will do up to two decimal places. Okay. That is the question for us. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now first question is, when is cotangent inverse defined? So, so we know cot inverse is defined for values which are within, let's say, let's say theta within 0 to pi, right? So if I write, yeah, it is defined within this interval. Now, in this interval, which other primary trigonometric ratio is defined for its inverse? That is the question. Now, we have cosine function whose inverse is defined in the interval 0 to pi, correct? So, this is for cotangent function. So, therefore, to calculate the inverse of cotangent, we should use cosine from the calculator. That is the whole idea, right? Now, the second question is how to write this in terms of cosine. So, for that, we'll kind of take the help of sketching a triangle. So, when we say that we are saying that cot inverse of minus half, let us say is equals to y. In that case, we can say cot y is equals to minus half. Is it okay? So cot y is minus half. Cot y equals to minus half means it's a ratio of adjacent side over opposite side if you're considering the triangle. So adjacent side is negative one. Negative one in this scale means going this way, right? So negative one. And the opposite is 2. So it is a triangle which is kind of like this. Right? So that becomes the triangle for you. Where the angle is this y angle. Correct? This is negative 1. Right? And that is, that is 2 for you. Or we can say the coordinates of this point is minus 1, 2. Does it make sense to you? So, so that is how it is. And in that case, let us say this hypotenuse h is equals to how much? h will be equals to square root of 2 square plus minus 1 square, which is square root of 5. So that is h. Now from here, can you find what cos y is? Cos y will be adjacent side over height. So it is minus 1 over square root of 5. Right? So that is cos y. The purpose is to find y. So we could also find y using the second equation as cos inverse of minus 1 over square root 5. Is, does it make sense to you? So these are the steps which I hope will make you understand why we use cosine inverse to calculate cot inverse, right? And how do we get that value? So that is how you get it. So let me use the calculator now to find this answer. So we are shift cos inverse over the bracket negative 1 divided by square root of 5 bracket close equal to the calculator should be in radius. Remember that part, right? So we get an answer which is equals to 2.0344, rounding to two decimal places, right? That is what we wanted. So it'd be 2.03, right? So that is how we can calculate the value of trigonometric inverse, especially for cotangent, whose value is not available on the calculator as such. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope this video helps you to understand the concept why we use cosine and how do we use it. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.